forge. Kate said the blacksmith may need help. Footprints. Tackety boots with hobnailed soles. They're stained. I think I can uncover the traces. Let's finish here first. What is it? Salt water. It's pulsing. There's something here. What kind of forge has no tools? Ghost sounds nasty. That ghost sounds obsessed. That drill bit is dull as a hammer. These nails look brittle. Metalworking isn't easy, but this stuff is surprising. Shined. Can't be easy to maintain a camp with a bad blacksmith. Damn it. <gasps> oh. Forgive me. I ought to startled. Oh well. Ain't you a sight? Who are you, then? Red McCraith, ma'am, the banisher. To whom do I owe the pleasure? Oh, the Scotsman. I like your accent, and I like your manner, too. Nelly. Nelly Heaton. A friendly Londoner. I like her already. So, what's the chatter? Bad news travels faster than good. What would you like to know? How's life about the place? We're doing our best to make things work. The beast is worrisome, tis true. But thick skin knows what's what. I'm sure we'll be fine. What think you of thick skin new Smith? She ain't perfect, that's for sure. But she's independent, fair minded, strong in body as in character. She cares for us. I know it in my heart, even if she doesn't show it. Why else would she shield us from the beast? What can you tell me of Kate Newsmith? I like her. She's different from her sister. Sensible. Watchful. When she speaks, I listen. Here's the thing. In your forge, I, I found a puddle of salt water. Any idea how it got there? Wait. You went into the forge without asking? The door was open. Also, there was a puddle on the floor, which turned out to be salty. Well, it's rude, but this time I'll let you off. The forge uses a lot of water, but that doesn't explain the salt. It had the mark of a ghost. What think you of that? A ghost? Lord, am I in danger? Honestly, I don't know. I'm looking into it, I hope not. The forge is empty, no tools. Any idea why? No tools? That's strange. Why would your husband take tools with him? Why would he take all the tools with him? I don't know. To the point, madam, Kate Newsmith worries for you, and for your husband, too. He around. Fortune left some hours ago and hasn't come back. I confess I'm beginning to worry. What if the beast got him? Did he not say where he was going? Thick skin has him making nails for the stockade. She presses him, and he feels the weight of it. Did you fight? We're best friends. We don't fight. He's a good man. He never lies. He'll put you at your ease and 
before you know it, you're laughing. He is also devout. Almost forgot. It wasn't always so. Coming to New Eden saved us. It saved the marriage. I should go look for your husband. He's no woodsman, so he can't have gone far. Please, do find him. I didn't come this far only to lose him now. Can I have a look around your house? Yes, if it helps. Let's trade, Mrs. Eaton. All right, let's. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Welcome. I've enjoyed our chat. It's nice to have someone new to talk with. I have a feeling about the bed. Shreds of a memory linger here. Reunius fat aster himi. That's no ghost threatening Nelly. That's her husband. It seemed like he was fighting the urge to hurt her. So, the blacksmith has gone missing with his tools. And a saltwater ghost haunts the forge. Let's go find it. A moment. That's handy. Imagine all those years hunting ghosts, how much time we could have saved. Come on, let's go find our blacksmith.
What think you of the blacksmith and his wife? A ghost haunts Fortune Heaton and his smithy too. Aye, but whose? There might be a way to open this door from the other side. To safe. Uh, are they are they gone? I oh, thank you, whoever you may be, for whatever you have done. I oh, thank you. I thought I was done for. Fortune Heaton, sir, and so very pleased that you came along. Red McCraith, the banisher. Weren't there two of you? There were, yes. As it happens, I've been looking for you. You have? Uh, what for? How are things with Nelly? Good. Yeah, good. It's, uh... Nice. Having a wife. A home. Nelly is, uh... A fine woman. Clever. Brave. Generous and kind. She's a blessing. How did you meet? Me? How did we meet? Well, you know, we just, uh, met. Does he not remember? Or does he not want to say? Come now, Mr. Heaton. No need to be embarrassed. A wee bit of romance is good for a man. Romance? It's not. I, uh... I helped her with a thing. She helped me with a thing. We stay together, helping each other with things. Doing right by one another can bring a couple together. Doesn't always need romance. So, you're the blacksmith. What's that like then? Uh, it's all right, I suppose. You busy? Yes, of course I am. <laughs> Lots of building work to be done. That means nails. Whole lot of nails, like an ocean of stupid bloody nails. I love when a man takes pride in his work. I heard you praying. I thought I recognised the text. You did? You sure? Nelly painted him a pious Puritan. Aye. Thought he sounded Catholic. Oh, well, just coincidence? <sighs> Look, here's the truth. I'm a convert. I did it for Nelly. I am, was, Catholic. It was a convenience more than a calling. Keep it to yourself, please. I need to fit in around here. Not my business. I won't tell us all. Thank you. That's twice I owe you. 
What are you doing out here anyway? Do you not fear the prowling beast? Oh, I needed a walk. A bit of fresh air, a bit of light. Forge is... Well, it's dark and hot, isn't it? I didn't mean to be a worry. We all enjoy walking the woods while burdened down with smithing tools. Why'd you bring your tools? Yeah, why did I bring my tools? Why? Uh, why? Because... Because they're haunted. That's why. I'm sorry, it's just... I'm losing my tiny little mind. And it's them godforsaken tools that's to blame. I start working with them. And then I look up, and half the day's gone, and I am somewhere else entirely, and that's not even the worst of it. When I return to the forge, the work is done. The tools are haunted, and I'm getting rid of them, as deep in the woods as I can go. Ditching the tools won't help. The haunting affects the forge, too. Then I'll stay out of it. I can find another blacksmith. Thick skin's nails will have to wait. Can you help us, Mr. McCraith? Yes. But I can't guarantee you'll like the result. Head for camp. I'll take a look at the tools. Once they're safe, I'll follow. Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank you, Banisher. I'll... <laughs> Thank you. I feel an echo ringing, like a hum. Mine! Mine! Mine, oh mine! The ghost lays claim to the forge and everything in it. The echo is missing from the toolbox. If it's not around here somewhere, he lied to us. Spectral stains heading deeper into the woods. Odds are there's a blacksmith's flatter at the end of the trail. Fortune the blacksmith came deep into the dangerous woods. They who are haunted do odd things. Maybe the ghost wanted him dead.
The hammer. Looks like Fortune tried to get rid of it. The hammer is the ghost tie. Now to retrieve it without breaking my neck. Yes, that would be a shame. We need to look for somewhere to cross. I sense a trap. I sense an echo. All right then. Let's check out the trap. Once more, with vigor. Don't let that specter get to the corpse. in left. would happen again. No. Oh, look at yourself. You're pathetic. I want a divorce. <laughs> You're now Elizabeth Laxford. You are mine. And I'd sooner see you dead and cold than let you leave. What's going on here? Walk away, lad. This does not concern you. I think it does. What do you want to do? Oh, Lord, 
once. Killed a man. There's one hammer. We should talk to his ghost. Mimi Garam. We are the Banishers Antea Duarte and Red McWraith. Whose ghost are you? <laughs> Do we really have to listen to this bastard? Nothing good ever comes of talking to the dead. At times I'm tempted to agree. Who are you and what do you want with the blacksmith? <sighs> my forge. My wife. My name, all mine. The bastard stole them. Is he telling us our blacksmith's a fraud? That night, on deck, Nelly asked for a divorce. What happened then? We saw what happened. I want to hear him say it. What happened on the boat? Ungrateful, scheming, errant. Oh. Watch it. Red, come on. Distempered. Feeble. A weak woman. Demanding care and giving none. I gave her a life and she stole mine. She had him kill me. That's not what I saw. You've been sowing madness in the mind of the man who replaced you. She can't escape me. Are you looking for revenge? I claim what's mine. She schemed it. He seized it. And I shall have it back. Why are you here? I want what's mine. Stolen away. Pried from my grasp. I want my work. My name. My wife. Your wife is not your property. <laughs> she was no one! A drudge who fancied herself a herbalist. <laughs> I plucked her from the dirt. I made her. All right, no. I'll not entertain this man a moment longer. I've had enough of this. Let's go. Now we know why Fortune Heaton died. He's a bastard. The murder is murder. Nelly and her fellow are haunted yet. And I'm concerned for their safety. You should have said something. I was afraid to worry you. No secrets, we said. We did. Because this only works if we're together. Right. Together. Do you think the Banisher knows? No. Though I'd not swear on it. He's no fool. I am no Puritan. He must know that at least. 
Mein, mein, oh mein, oh mein. You again. Piss off, Heaton, and no more scheming. Hush! Someone's coming. Vanisha! You're back! Mr. McRae, my man came back and I hear of you to thank for it. Don't celebrate just yet. I know the truth. Your secret is out. I don't know who you are, sir, but you're not Fortune Heaton. Don't be daft. Haskell hired the Puritan master blacksmith, Fortune Heaton. You're none of those things. You're not him. What do you want? I'd like your side of the story, madam. Very well. What? No. How do we know we can trust him? We don't. But we must take the chance. It's time. How did you two meet? <laughs> Funny story. Best you tell it, Nelly. On the crossing, Fortune was sick. He stayed below deck. When the weather allowed, I would take the air. One night, a voice came from the shadows. I should have run. But something in his tone told me he was kind. I was right. He is as kind as kind can be. We became friends. Dearest friends. Companions in murder. When you demanded a divorce, your husband threatened you. Was that the first time? It was the first time I'd asked for a divorce. It was not the first time he had raised his hands to me. I loved my husband once. <laughs> I thought he understood me. But Fortune was an angry man. He was angry, and I was in his line of sight. No matter who or what had upset him, the full force of his anger would fall on me. Always on me. You're not Fortune Heaton. So, who are you? I am. <laughs> to hell with it. You're right, I'm no blacksmith. I, sir, am the fugitive thief Arthur Carty. But a good man. A repentant, hard-working man. If I am those things, it's because you've shown me it's all right. I'm doing my best to make a better life. Really, I am. What were you running from? Just the legal consequences of my illegal life. On the crossing from England, something happened. What was it? I'd had peace and quiet for weeks since we'd been aboard. Fortune was too sick to do anything. I even made a friend. I thought to myself, maybe, maybe this new beginning will be good for us. Maybe you'll change. Before we left, I'd sworn he'd never lift a hand to me again. Well, guess what? We didn't plan on killing him. I swear on it. Do you regret it? Do you regret any of it? What would be the point? And if I did, what would be the point of telling you about it? I'd have escaped him in the end, but I'd have had to die to do it. I only killed him so he wouldn't kill me. The blame is on him, sir, not me. You sent me to find your husband, Mrs. Heaton. Find him I did. Your husband's corpse rots on the ocean floor and his ghost has followed you here. I ripped myself of him once. What shall it take to do it a second time? Nellie Heaton. You murdered your husband to find freedom, but instead unleashed his vengeful ghost upon you 
and the man who stole his name. Where is the justice in this? I'm not here to bring justice. I'm here to end a haunting. What claim have you on me? You're no better than Fortune Heaton. A pox on you. A pox on men and their cowardice. Yes. A pox on us all. Beneath the tyranny of bad men, I lived. By it, I now die. No, 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 no! My friend! My dear friend! Away with you! Get out of my sight! Murderer! Out! Arthur Carty, the man with someone else's work, someone's name, and someone else's wife. You escaped England as a thief, and a thief you remained. Arthur is a good man. He has redeemed himself. He has been a good friend and a good help for us all. And yet, your dead husband returned to haunt you. Arthur brought fortune's wickedness back to you. Arthur is to blame. I only wanted Nelly to be happy. We killed Fortune Heaton once. Now we'll do it again. Fortune Heaton, dead as alive, you failed as a husband. Quick to anger, your cruel brutality left your wife in despair. You treat her as a possession. They stole my name and took my life. Tough. But now you'll leave Nellie alone. She's not yours and never was. My corpse rots in the cold abyss. My skin crawls with worms, as the creatures of the deep consume me. That sounds unpleasant, but it will soon be over. I'm giving you the peaceful way out. Count yourself lucky. You may go. Over? Is it done? Aye. He's gone. What will you tell the others? 
Will you expose us? Will I spill your secret to the camp? No, I won't. My eternal gratitude to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McCraith. Thank you for giving us a chance. Fortune Heaton. Dead as alive, you're an angry man. Time to go. I made her. She is mine. I built it all, and they took it from me. And now your work and your name shall pass to Arthur Carty while you enter oblivion. Nelly will run the forge, and a better version of Fortune Heaton will walk the world. I am Fortune Heaton. Ever was, and ever will be. Not anymore. Be gone. Be gone. Is it over? Is it done? Aye. He's gone. What will you tell the others? Will you expose us? Will I spill your secret to the camp? No, I won't.